We're going to have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border is secure? We have a secure border. Okay, that was Vice President Kamala Harris, our borders are in September, so not that long ago, saying that the border is secure. But the latest numbers for the month of September tell a much different story. September setting a new record with more than 227,000 illegal migrant encounters, and up 12% from yeah, last September. Yeah. Joining us now is former Acting Border Patrol Commissioner and Senior Law Enforcement Analyst Mark Morgan. Mark, so these September numbers, they were released late Friday night, about 11 p.m., um, and those numbers showed a 12% increase over the month prior. But Vice President Kamal Harris um, says that, look, the, the border's secure, but, Mark, these numbers don't lie. Yeah, that's exactly right. And, look, they're comparing them against last month, which was a record month, and the month before that was a record month, and the year before that was a record year. What they really need to do is compare it to the last month under the Trump administration, and you're going to see a three, four, five hundred percent increase in some of these numbers. And to put it in perspective, this, this, last, this fiscal year, it was actually 2.7 million total encounters. And let's, let's, let's look at some of the other additional numbers. They also arrested over 40,000 criminal illegal aliens coming into this country, 98 illegal aliens on the FBI's terror screening database. And of course, we know the drugs that are pouring in at record numbers. And why is that important? Because although the men and women of Customs and Border Protection are doing one a heck of a job on the front lines, even though the, all the tools and authorities have been taken away from them, the real number that you won't hear this administration talk about is what's getting away. And in FY, this past fiscal year, they also set another record of somewhere between six to 700,000 gotaways, a, a, a turnbacks that would have uh, illegally entered this country, as well as the drugs pouring into this country. It's absolutely uh, outrageous and ridiculous that this vice president is saying our border is secure. It's just a blatant lie. Yeah, it's appalling. Uh, just 22 months into Joe Biden's uh, first term. Um, migrant border crossings for fiscal year 2022 topped 2.76 million. And those are just the numbers that we know about. That does not include the gotaways, uh, which could add another million to that number right there, Mark. That's roughly the population of Wyoming, Vermont, Alaska, North Dakota combined. Um, what do you make of that and how that will affect the way people vote in 15 days? And what I'll make of that is our borders are wide open. They're not secure. What this administration is telling the American people, Rob, is an absolute lie. The reality is that illegal immigration is not a victimless crime. The truth is, is that uh, very essential limited resources are pulled off their front line, pulled off their national security mission. They're relegated to an administrative agency of hospital watch, transportation, and processing the millions of illegal aliens. In the first 22 months of this administration, that number is actually well over 5 million. The reality is, is that we've handed operational control over the cartels. Drugs, criminals, and potential national security threats are pouring in this country. I believe the American people now see it. They've been seeing it with their own eyes the past 20 months. Yeah, Mark, let's talk about those drugs uh, because we, we, we talk about fentanyl, but I don't think we talk about it enough. At least I don't hear the Biden administration talking about it enough. Yesterday we were at a football game. My daughter uh, got a, a pack of, um, of candy and she said, Mom, this doesn't have fentanyl in it, does it? Because I hear that the sweet tarts do. So she's 10. She's hearing it. And obviously I'm talking to my kids about it because I'm so scared as a mom. Why do we not hear anything from the administration? Uh, kids are dying of this. Yeah, that, that, I, I tell you what, this is why I get fired up. This is one of the reasons I really get fired up. I mean, how many more Americans have to die before we make this administration reverse course? I mean, really, enough is enough. Look, I got it. The, the, the one slogan, one pill can kill. We're talking to our kids more than ever before. I got it. But that's not enough. Yeah, look, you, the best parents in the world, you cannot uh, be with your kids 24-7. It just doesn't work that way. Look, the leading cause of death between 18 to 45-year-olds in this country is fentanyl, and we know that 95% of the fentanyl comes from the southwest border. And it's not about how much, much we're seizing. Again, the men and women on the front lines are doing an incredible job, but they're overwhelmed because of this administration's policies. Look, I guarantee you, for every pound of fentanyl we seize, three, four pounds is getting away, coming in here, killing Americans. Yeah. I, I just don't understand how securing our borders and protecting this country has become a right or left thing. It shouldn't be. It's an American thing. Yeah, and we'll yeah. keep, Mark, I'm telling you, we're seven days away from Halloween. And, you know, I've, I've got two little kids that are that are excited to go out there and go trick-or-treating. But, it, you know, it was one thing when I grew up, there were razor blades right. and, and caramel apples and, and that sort of thing. Um, fentanyl was not a concern. But I'm telling you, there are parents, including myself, Allison, I know you're, you're, you're concerned as well. Yeah. Uh, but it's a real concern for people heading into Halloween night next Monday. Uh, Mark Morgan will do it again real soon. Thanks for breaking that down for us.